Hello everyone, my name is Cameron, welcome back to the channel and today we are doing a monumentally huge channel update video because there's a lot to talk about as we get into the last five months of 2020. God, it does not feel like we're already going into August of 2020 in a couple weeks. That's fucking insane that this year has gone by this fast and it's been this much of a fucking mess. But, regardless... We are going to talk about what's going to be happening on the channel specifically because the real world is not as important right now. So for starters, what is the year going to be looking like, or at least the next few weeks going to be looking like for the channel with what we currently have. Uh, Days Gone is going to be continuing. I'm going until I beat the main story is my my goal is try to beat the main story and all the side quests. Uh, collecting all like the flowers and stuff like that and trying to do other specific things. Those aren't as important to me. I have looked through the trophies. I guess there is a weapon exclusive to New Game Plus. I'm not going to be doing a New Game Plus playthrough on the game. If you guys don't know, I've talked about this in the past with uh, Batman, the Batman Arkham series. The reason I don't do the New Game Plus is it's the same exact story. I just have all of the upgrades from the beginning of the game rather than having to go through them. The reason I decided not to do New Game Plus playthroughs on the, the channel is because that would be boring for you guys. You literally just watch the exact same thing I just played through a second fucking time and it's going to take probably about the exact same amount of time. So instead of doing that, I just go through a New Game Plus playthrough on my own if I decide to do a New Game Plus playthrough of things. With Batman Arkham series, I decide not to do it for Arkham Asylum, Return to Arkham Asylum, and Return to Arkham City. I don't think there's trophies for them, so there's no real point for me to do it. Because trophies are about the only reason I do a New Game Plus playthrough, is if they have a trophy for it. Uh, with Batman Arkham Knight, I did a New Game Plus playthrough. I do typically try to do at least one every time I play a game. If they offer New Game Plus, I try to do a New Game Plus playthrough of that. Uh, Spider-Man, I've started a New Game Plus playthrough. I actually got to go back and start playing that again because I'll get to some things in the in in the uh, upcoming time in this video to tell you about Spider-Man. Um, but yeah, God of Tame Mall is going to continue. I know we missed Tuesday. I'm sorry about that. Uh, Dalton just didn't get on. And his Wi-Fi was getting was having a bunch of issues, so we just didn't get the chance to record it. That's going to be continuing for the foreseeable future. God, it's going to take me and Dalton a long time to do that, but it should be an arc series that's going to be on here for at least a couple, probably about half a year, maybe more, um, depending on how long it takes us to get all the Dino Tames done. Uh, Days Gone, or I already talked about Days Gone. God of War is the other game. Is the game I was trying to talk about. I just brought that back. Um, episode 62 went up. It kind of showed what I've been doing in the time since you guys have last seen me. I closed a few of the Realm Terrors. I did the final Valkyrie fights, and I tried to do the Queen Valkyrie fight one time and got my ass whooped. That video was like five set. It was like six or so months in the making. Basically, if you guys don't know, God of War, I stopped playing in December of last year to focus on grinding out some things. I've done this in a few other games. I did this in Skyrim too. I grinded out a bunch of stuff until I could get to the right level to actually uh, do the final legendary dragon fight, and I did that on the channel as the final, one of the final episodes. Um, my goal with God of War was try to get as much grindy stuff done as I could, so I went out, I did all the Valkyrie fights, I made sure I filmed what they had to say at the end so you guys could see it still, which is why none of those clips of me talking to the Valkyries have any voice on them at all. Um, then I did try the Queen Valkyrie fight, I got my ass whooped, I decided that, okay, that was in April when I did that, by the way. That was in April when I did all that. I hadn't played for like three or so months. Um, I stopped playing for a bit, came back, did some, you know, went, got some missed echoes and shit, got some of that stuff done, and then just took a break. And then like in April, I went and I did that stuff, took another break because it had just, I don't know, I guess I was just kind of burnt out on the game still. Came back, decided, okay, I'll upload this and kind of take it off hiatus for a bit, you know, just so you guys can kind of see what's been going on and get kind of an idea of where I'm at with the game right now. My goal with that is just to complete the story, uh, get the final Valkyrie, or I've already completed the story, but get the final Valkyrie fight done, close the rest of the Realm Terror, and try to get a few more of the, the miscellaneous things done on the channel so you guys can kind of see me get closer to 100%. I'm not going to 100% on the channel, I don't think. I think I'm just going to do that in my own time, finish the game 100%, because it is a game I really want to get to 100% on because it's a game I love. I love the God of War series. It's one of my favorite fucking game series out there. So if I can get the opportunity to complete that 100%, I'm going to try to take it as best as I can. Um, worst case scenario, I go back and do it in New Game Plus. 
Uh, let's see, Minecraft. Still continuing, we got, I think, like four or five more episodes that are able to go up uh, over the next couple of weeks, so we have a lot to, to kind of show you guys still. We have a lot to, to upload. Um, we have a few continuing. Sorry I didn't get uploaded today. That's on me. Uh, more or less, I just kind of... Jesse took Jesse didn't get here until 10 and I just didn't want to record at that point I was cooking and just wanted to focus on cooking and didn't really want to record around that time and just focused on other things because I wanted to relax I guess it wasn't that I, was, I didn't want to record I just kind of wanted to relax for the day uh, Subnautica I think I recorded three more episodes uh, Monday I recorded a couple episodes I uploaded obviously I uploaded episode two and then I recorded a few more episodes so you guys can have a lot to look forward to. I made sure I saved after every episode too. I remember that much. I did save after every episode, so we should be all good um, with that. Now, going forward into the next five months, five and a half, and we'll count the rest of July. What's my plan? So first things first, I did, if you guys don't know, Mountain Dew has this thing that they've done the last two years called the Dew United States Collection. You collect all 50, there's 50 unique bottle um, like covers, like the, the, so what I'm looking for, I don't know, there's like 50 unique, um, bottle, bottles that you can find, and it's the 50 states, if you're not in America, obviously you can't do this, but if you are in America, you have the chance to get all 50 of these states, you get the 50 states, you enter the codes, you scan the label and all, label, that's what I was looking for, you scan the label, you get a hundred bucks, but this year they changed it and they did a million dollar giveaway as well. So there's a chance you could win a million dollars for getting off of the states. This ended July 11th. Um, last time I did this, I believe it was used to buy this. So it's been a while since they since I got the hundred bucks from this. So right now I'm currently just waiting on my hundred bucks to be sent to me, so I can redeem it, and I'm going to be buying the uh, hard drive for my PC. So we're gonna have another PC part here in a couple of weeks. So that's the update for the PC build. Um, we're getting really close. Pretty sure I should have it done by the end of the year if things go the way I want them to. Or at least by July of next year. Which I kind of had the plan of I want to have it done before summer 2021. So hopefully within the year we will have the PC build finally finished. And the first PC I've ever built will be done. I don't think I don't think it's going to be a great PC. I don't think it, it maybe fuck, some pieces might not even be compatible with each other. I hope. I hope they're all compatible with each other, but some of them obviously might not be. Uh, my hope is that the PC runs, the PC works the way I want it to, and it all works together without any issues. So I can actually, you know, have a gaming PC. Dalton is working towards buying his own. He is planning on buying an Alienware PC. Uh, now that his job, he can kind of save up for a little bit better, which means hopefully PC content will be going up on the channel within about the next year and a half. Uh, I don't know for sure what PC content. I know we're going to be doing an RL Craft uh, Let's Play series on Minecraft, which will be really fun because RL Craft looks fucking awesome. It looks intense. It looks very difficult to play, but it looks like a game that me or a version of Minecraft that me and Dalton can very much enjoy uh, playing and probably sucking at because it's very difficult. If you never watched RL Craft on YouTube, I highly suggest you check it out. It's fucking insane. We'll probably also stream some other games. I don't know for sure if everything I record on the PC will be recorded as a series or if I'll stream it. Uh, hopefully, as you guys know, I've been doing this for about five years now where I've done it the way I've done it, where I've been doing as much content as I can in a week. That basically started around 2015 because I moved here around that time. Uh, a few months later, I got my loot crate, and that's when I really started my channel. In 2016, I got Skyrim's... Uh, I got Skyrim Special Edition and I played that on the channel uh, through a huge long playthrough of that and that's what really got me into my channel. I'm hoping that with how much work I've put in this channel I can start getting to the point where maybe I can do this as a job. I want to do this. I don't want to do this as my permanent job right now, you know, where this is all I'm doing to get money. I want to do this as a job where I can get a couple extra, you know, just a little bit extra a month and all the support I get from you guys that have subscribed, that like, that comment, you know, all that stuff. It helps immensely. It shows me that it's worth it to do this. So, what else is there to talk about, though? Uh, there are a lot of new games coming out this year, if you guys haven't really been paying attention, as well as new game consoles. Uh, am I going to be getting the PS5 or the Xbox Series X? Right now, neither. I don't plan on getting any of them before this holiday season's over. 
um, or even before 2020 is over. They're supposed to be releasing holiday 2020, which for those of you who don't know what that means, it usually means late November until basically like start of January. So basically like eh, spitballing, we'll say like the 20th of November till the 31st of December. So basically like the week of Thanksgiving until New Year's, New Year's Eve is about when holiday 2020 usually kind of means. That's usually what they mean when they say holiday 2020 is they mean that time frame, late November to late December. Now, I personally do not feel like spending 600 something dollars on a console right now. It's not that I don't personally want to buy a PS5 or an Xbox Series X, which for those of you wondering if I buy one or when I buy one, it's probably gonna be the PS5 first. I'm probably going to buy a Xbox Series X a little bit later. I do plan on buying both, by the way, for those of you wondering. For those of you who are like, oh, what console do you choose? I choose both. I'm not in the whole console war bullshit. I've played on Nintendo, PC, Xbox, PlayStation, fucking Atari. I've played the original Pong where like, it was literally just the fucking box thing. I've played so many different fucking systems. I don't really care what system I play on. I play on mobile. I've played on handheld devices for like PSP, Nintendo DS, Game Boy. All that stuff. I've played everything in my life. I plan on having them all. I do plan on buying a Nintendo Switch still. For those of you wondering, I'm probably going to buy that around Black Friday if I can afford to. If I have the ability to and I have the money, I'm going to be buying a Nintendo Switch around Black Friday or maybe talking to Jesse about buying me one because he's awesome and he loves me. Um, but obviously because me and him want to play a lot of things on that. Like Mario Kart is one of the big things I've wanted to play for like the last four years. I can't do it because I don't have a Nintendo Switch. Um, but I'm probably gonna buy the PS5 first just because there's a little bit more exclusives on there, which I'm gonna talk about in a minute, that I'm more interested in than what's on P Xbox Series X, or at least what's been announced so far for Xbox Series X. Um, so, talking about that, new games coming out this year, uh, which ones am I gonna be playing on the channel and which ones am I gonna probably buy but stick to using or to playing myself? Uh, so, uh, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2, which is being released uh, actually right around my birthday, um, I'm probably going to buy but not put on the channel. If you guys have never played the Tony Hawk games, you know there's a lot of great music in them, especially in the first three games. There was a lot of great music, so it can probably be a good reason as to, you guys probably could take a good guess as to why I don't want to put them on. I don't feel like turning the music off. The music is part of Tony Hawk for me. It's part of the reason I fell in love with the games is because the soundtracks were so amazing. If I do a series on Tony Hawk 1 and 2, or Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2, which is what it's being called, on the channel, then I don't get to listen to music. I don't get to have that part of the enjoyment, that part of the nostalgia that is the Tony first two Tony Hawk games, which was their soundtrack. And not having that would not just be a disservice to me, but it'd also be a disservice to you guys if you were huge fans of the Tony Hawk games back in the day like I was. Uh, Cyberpunk 2077, if I do end up buying it, will be on the channel. I can promise you that right now. If I buy Cyberpunk 2077, it will be on the channel. Um, because that game has been something I've been hyped up for for like so fucking long. Since, basically since it got announced, I've been like, yeah, I can't wait for this fucking game. I'm so excited. Like, I've basically been excited since it got announced, showing Keanu, saying, uh, wake up Samurai, we have a city to burn. Everything about it, the, the teaser trailer, everything has just made me want to play that game so bad. And I was so upset when it got pushed back because I planned on buying it during its first, like when it first got released. But then they pushed it back, which I fully, I fully appreciate. I fully um, respect that decision. For those of you who don't realize it, when I look at a, re uh, a game that gets pushed back, I don't get pissed about it. I realize, okay, they're trying to work out all the bugs so we can have the best game possible. A delayed game will eventually be great but a rushed game will forever feel wrong. A bugged game, it's gonna be a bugged game if they release it early, and they're trying to make sure that we get the best possible experience when they release it, which I think is probably the most respectable thing any game company could ever do. Ghost of Tsushima is another game I'm really excited for, which comes out in a few days. Uh, actually, tomorrow, comes out tomorrow. Will I be buying it and will I be putting it on the channel? Uh, I'm not gonna be buying it uh, right now at least, and when I do buy it, I probably am gonna put it on the channel personal reasons um ghost of tsushima is a game that i really just kind of want to burn through myself and kind of just get the the chance to enjoy it. a lot of the time when i'm doing stuff on the channel i don't always get that freedom to enjoy what i'm playing and kind of focus on things 
and I don't really get that chance to kind of complete things in the pace I want to. For those of you who are wondering, if I get a game normally and I'm playing through it by myself, you know, it's just me, I'm not doing it for the channel, I try to go through the game within a couple weeks. Not to say that I want to rush through the game and not remember the story, it's just that I have a very quick pace of playing through stories sometimes if it's a short game. If it's a longer game, it could take me a little bit longer, but like going the week to week thing with the channel sometimes can really burn me out with how I'm doing it. Um, which is kind of what's happened with God of War is I've kind of been burnt out on the game from how long I've been playing it. So yeah, uh, Ghost of Tsushima will probably be just a game I play by myself. Um, if I do end up getting it. Marvel's Avengers, I don't plan on getting right now. I might wait a bit to see how it is after it's get gotten, after it's been released and kind of, you know, just been out there for a bit and see how it's doing and see how it's looking. Um, mostly because it, it's gone through a lot in the time it's been, since it's been announced. It, from what I've heard, it has gotten a little bit like it's looked, it, one looks better because God, those characters look fucking awful when they first got shown off. And two, the game has had a little bit more released about its story and it's kind of making a little bit more sense to people who are wondering why the fuck are we playing as this person and not one of the actual, you know, awesome Avengers that we all want to play as. Um, it's kind of talked about it a little bit more and you've learned a little bit, we've learned more about the game than what had been told to us. It's kind of the same situation with No Man's Sky where it was released, I had a lot of hype, I was really hyped up for it and was thinking about buying it and then it got released and then it did terrible, it was getting terrible reviews, it was getting shot at, you know, it was, it was getting a lot of shoddy reviews and stuff and the game was just kind of being shit on for a while and now in 2020 I just bought No Man's Sky like two days ago because I had heard a lot of great things about it now and I wanted to give it a try and so far I'm actually pretty much, I'm enjoying it pretty well. Um, Destroy All Humans remake which comes out in a I think like a week or so. Uh, I'm probably not going to get right now. I love the Destroy... Uh, don't get me wrong. I love Destroy All Humans. It's one of my favorite game franchises of all time. It's great. It's fucking hilarious. But right now, I just don't personally see... Like, I don't want to play it right now. If I do, When I do get it, it will be on the channel. I can confirm that right now. I will probably put it on the channel. But I just haven't had like the desire to play it. I don't know why. Like I'm just looking at like... Like, I could get this, but, like, do I really want to play it right now? And right now, I'm not finding myself really having the interest to play Destroy All Humans. Not that it's, again, not that it's not a great game series. It's just something that, for me, I'm just looking at it like, I don't really want to play that right now. I don't know why. I just don't. Um, Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I don't know yet. <laughs> I haven't decided on it. It looks awesome. I'm very excited for it, but, like... I got burnt out on Origins, which you guys remember, I did that on the channel. I got burnt the fuck out on that game so fast. Um, Odyssey, I haven't played through. I haven't finished it, at least. I've I've played some of it. I have to play more of it. I do have it on uh, my PS4 now because it was on sale. I also got, with that, I got Assassin's Creed 3 and Assassin's Creed 3 Liberation Remastered, which was really cool to get because um, I got the Gold Edition of... Assassin's Creed Odyssey when it was on sale uh, last month, I think, or two months ago, something like that. Um, I got to play through it and actually kind of figure out, okay, how am I enjoying these new games compared? That's why I'm playing. I'm also playing through Assassin's Creed 3, so I kind of get, a, get a, a gauge of how much I enjoy them compared to an older one, one of the older games and one of the newer games and kind of get an idea of, okay, which one do I enjoy more? Assassin's Creed for me is a game I... Like, I love the series. Don't get me wrong. I love the series. Black Flag will forever hold a place in my heart as my favorite game. For those of you who are wondering why Black Flag is my first, my favorite game, I love pirate-themed things. Pirates are kind of one of my huge things from when I was young, and they're still one of the things I love the most, along with dinosaurs. Uh, so Black Flag, for me, will always probably be my favorite uh, until I can play through some more of them. Um, but just, I don't know, I've looked at the stuff for Valhalla, and it looks awesome, and I'm excited for it. But I just haven't decided if I want to actually get it yet. Because I'm like, like, I could get this. And I could do this on the channel. But just like Origins, I have the risk of this game getting way too grindy. And me getting burnt out on it again. Which is what ha why Origins was stopped. It's why I didn't continue Origins. I don't even play Origins. I haven't played Origins since I stopped the series. Literally, the episode... The final episode of that was the final time I played Origins. I haven't played it since. Because I haven't had any interest in playing it and I will not pick that series back up that series is not on hiatus that series is done I 
completely stop that series. It's not like God of War where I'm just put it where I put it on a hiatus. It's done, finito, end. Never coming back. Uh, sort of like Rage 2. Rage 2 wasn't really the game's fault. I love Rage 2. I gotta actually play through it more. I just haven't played through the whole game yet because I have a lot of video games. Uh, it was more of this Xbox's recording system is a pain in the ass, which I hope to God with Xbox Series X they've updated that and fixed it so it's not so fucking stupid. For those of you who are wondering why I don't like Xbox's recording system, you can't record longer than a 10 minute clip, you can't record your voice with it at the same time, it's very fucking stupid. You should uh, give us the ability to record 30 minute clips. Also, if your clip even goes over 30 minutes, you can't fucking combine it. You have to have exactly a 30 minute clip. Why? Xbox, why is that your fucking system for recording clips? You're like pretty much saying, hey, go buy a fucking capture card or get the fuck out of here. It's basically what Xbox is saying when they do that. The thing is, and you can't even upload it to YouTube from there. Like you have to upload it, you have to put it to somewhere else and then upload it to YouTube. You can't just upload it straight to YouTube if it's an edited clip. You have to put it into like your Dropbox, I think it was, I think it was Dropbox or some shit like that, and then put it up to YouTube. You can't even just put it straight to YouTube from Xbox. It's so stupid. It's why I actually enjoy PlayStation so much more. And I have issues with PlayStations all the time. But, I, so I hope they fix that with Xbox. But that was kind of the reason I stopped Rage 2. It's just, I didn't like the way Xbox's recording system is. It's just a pain in the ass. Uh, what else do I gotta cover? Um, next on the agenda, Spider-Man Miles, Miles Morales. I know a lot of you were probably waiting for me to say that one. I'm so excited for that game. It looks fucking dope. I can't wait for it. I've only seen a few things about it, and I still have a huge fucking amount of excitement for that game sadly it's only coming out for ps5 which means i'm gonna have to wait to play it but i can confirm that when i get my ps5 i probably will get that game with it miles ps or eh, spider-man miles morales will in fact be on the channel uh i looked at it and i was like you know what like even though it's only coming out on ps5 which is kind of a downer i have full desire to actually play that game on the channel, regardless of how long it is after. I hope to God that I get my PS5 within, before the end of 2021 is when I'm hoping to get it at least. Um, so I'm sitting there like, I'm like, yeah, I can I can play that on the channel. Like, it makes sense. I played the first game. Why not play the second game? Uh, so I'm really excited for that. I can't wait for it. It looks fucking awesome. Now, for those of you wondering why am I not buying a PS5 or an Xbox Series X around their release date, I'm working on my car. So if you guys don't know the story, I got a 2002 Ford Escape from my brother. I paid him a grand for it, which was pretty much 500 bucks because he did $500 of work before he gave it to me, saving me 500 bucks from having to go get that shit done myself. So he gave me that. Uh, it was either that or his new car, but I was like, you know, what? just give me the escape. I'm like, I don't want to fucking take that new car away from you, man. Like, and plus the escape had a lot of options of stuff I wanted to do that would be a little bit easier. Like fishing and hunting and kayaking would be a lot easier to do with something that I can put a fucking roof rack on rather than a car. So, um, I got this escape from my brother and at the time and right now currently still don't have a license, sadly. Uh, but I, you know, I started the car occasionally, you know, just keep its battery up. And then I got this Bluetooth uh, connector thing and plugged it in. I left it in and it ended up kind of killing my battery and my battery was dead. My battery's basically been dead for like the last two years or so. So my car's just kind of been sitting there. I had to replace a tire with a donut at that point, at one point in time because my tire just completely fucking got destroyed basically. Um, all four of my tires actually have to be replaced because they're all pretty fucking worn out. I have now replaced my battery. I have to replace my starter and I've replaced my gas filter. So I've done a lot of work on that and I still have a lot more to do. I have to get my starter out, replace that, and then replace all four of my tires. My tires are going to cost me about $460 for all four of them in total. So I'm kind of trying to focus more on getting my car running so I can then go take my test, get my license, get my car insured, get it a plate and actually be able to drive and hopefully go get a better job uh, than what I currently have. Something that pays me a little bit more and can let me afford things a little bit better. I can afford to do things that I currently cannot afford to do because of how little my job pays. But 
that is basically the main reason I'm not planning on buying the PS5 or the Xbox Series X when they release. It's just I don't have the money to set aside right now. I have a lot of money in savings, but a lot of that money is in case I need to turn to it, is in case of a rainy day. If I don't have, you know, if I need the ability to pay for my uh, wheels better, I can use that money. It's kind of why I have it. I mean, that takes me down to about like $800 in my savings, but still, if I don't have enough money, to pay for my tires I can always take a little bit out of my savings without having too much to worry about it's kind of my main goal so right now my main focus is trying to fix finish fixing my car so I can run and then uh, yeah probably gonna focus on the computer build get that all finished so I can start playing PC games and maybe editing the videos I don't know yet um, but yeah there's just a lot I'm focused on right now and regardless of how much i really want to get the ps5 as quick as i can so i can bring more content to you guys at the moment i still have no desire to really go away from my ps4 i feel like them releasing consoles every four years is kind of a bit of a downer or every five years whatever is kind of a bit of a downer because it's like i'm still enjoying this console like the fuck are you guys releasing a new one for like i'm enjoying your last console you dickheads so that's kind of how it is um I don't know when I'll get the PS5. Hopefully, like I said, hopefully it'll be before summer 2021 or before the end of 2021, I'll have it. But I guess we'll see as uh, time goes on. Depends. Uh, things could change. Obviously, I could always, you know, give a new update video and say, hey, I got a PS5. You know what I mean? I could always give a new update video and say something. But for now, I have no plans to, and uh, it doesn't seem like it's going to change right now for a bit. So hopefully... I'll have more info on the PS5 when I can, that I can tell you guys at a, a later date. But that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what games you guys are excited for the most in the back half of 2020. As well as, are you guys buying a console when they release the, later this year? I'll see you next time. Stay cool. Peace.